when it comes to barbecue, cooking on a smoker, a grill, or even an open flame pit using wood or charcoal as the main heat source can create incredible flavors and textures. There's plenty of passion for particular methods, barbecue fuels, smoking woods, and of course, the perfect barbecue to cook on. Choosing the right cooking device, protein and fuel is subjective. There are many different types of barbecues such as open faced or brick pits, perillas or rotisserie spits. There's drum smokers, wood pellet grills, bullet shaped smokers, the trusty kettle barbecue and the very versatile egg shaped ceramic cooker, the Kamado Joe. Then there's the bespoke masterpieces, often made from something once quite unique, repurposed into the ultimate smoker. When it comes to cooking up low and slow style, the offset is largely considered the go-to smoker, with the larger versions using solid wood as the fuel source and are commonly found in backyards, as well as being functional showpieces in many good barbecue restaurants. Uh, we've got five pits cooking right now. They're all offset smokers, and so what that means is there's a firebox at one end, the cooking chamber in the middle, and then the chimney at the other end. So the chimney's gonna work to pull the heat and the smoke across the meats. They're all, they all pretty much cook the same. You're gonna have a little temperature variation from one end to the other, but they're great cookers. I tell my, my apprentices when they first learn, this pit is sort of like your spouse. It's like your partner. You need to know it equally as well as you do your partner. And I'll tell you, they're just like your partner, there are hot spots and cool spots. Knowing the difference between the two and when to apply them is gonna get you the maximum results. There's gonna be the happiest marriage of the two of you when you're able to do that. One of the nice things about live fire cooking, and you could classify barbecue about any direct coal fire cooking, is that you can do some really great steaks and some really great quick meals on a really hot grill. So if I was kind of doing a casual thing for friends and family, I think I would do a really uh, hot and fast grill. And if I'm having a long and lazy weekend where I've got a lot of time on my hands, that's when the offset smoker is gonna be fired up. Uh, you know, I, I run a JP Custom uh, offset smoker and I use gateway drums. Uh, my fuel most of the time is uh, half and half of post oak, Texas post oak and hickory. That's what we run on both and uh, some lump charcoal. I work with uh, the barrows. They're from Hunsaker smokers. So it's basically oil barrows with a vortex spinning air circulation system that just works magnificent. And that's all I work with. So when I'm at home or I'm in competition, I use uh, primarily pellet cookers. But in addition to that, I have Kamados, I have offset cookers, I have direct cookers, rotisseries, I've got open face, closed, rock pits, uh, you name it, man. Part of the barbecue journey also includes pairing wood fuels with specific types of barbecues to impart that incredible balance of flavors into the meat. Seasoned hardwoods used in an offset smoker can vary considerably based on geographical location. In Australia, you'll likely be smoking with iron bark. In Texas, maybe a post oak, or in New Zealand, it could be Pudakawa, the national Christmas tree. If you think about barbecue tradition, you know, it all founds from what's local to you. So for us in New Zealand, the Pudakawa tree is the national Christmas tree. But the main thing I love about it it's got a beautiful sweetness. The, the aroma that it lets off is really distinctive, but without just smashing your palate. In Central Texas, we're fortunate to have a lot of oak. It's no secret why they, they, they keep wine and whiskey in oak barrels. There's a sweetness. There's like a vanilla flavor to that. There really is. But different regions, like you go a little bit further um, north and east, it's hickory and pecan. You go a little further west in Texas, and it's going to be mesquite. 
and that'll even change the way that you're going to run your pit. Here at Morpho Barbecue we use uh, apple wood. It's a really good neutral wood. It gives everything a really soft flavor, not, nothing too over the top. You don't leave with a taste of smoke in your mouth. I think anyone can be a pit master, but I think just due to the nature of, of the title, you have to have a pit. You have to operate a pit. And what is a pit? You're burning live embers, knocking them down, shoveling coals. That's a pit to me. When you're cooking at home or on a small or medium sized smoker, charcoal briquettes, lump charcoal, or a combination of both will likely be the main heat source. The use of a chimney starter makes life so much easier for the smaller rigs and the end result can be every bit as good as you'll achieve in larger barbecues or smokers. Anyone can create their own adventure cooking over fire. Join our series in discovering the world of barbecue. We visit the capital of modern barbecue, experience competition barbecue and we get all the tips on how to get started. Subscribe to our series, share and hashtag Beyond the Flame.